it's me. Today is January 1st, the day we meet Blair Wilson, Girl of the Year 2019. Now, if you want to see my reactions and my thoughts on everything with her collection, her doll, all that stuff, link is going to be down below. I did a whole video on the entire release. Blair is included in that. This video is going to be about her play section. So I'm very excited to look at this because I enjoy looking at it with every girl of the year that releases. So as you guys can see, we have a picture of Blair here with her little chicken tandy lion. So adorable. It says, meet Blair Wilson, girl of the year 2019. And her description says, I have a knack for knowing how to talk to anyone, even animals. That's my kind of girl. I love making guests feel welcome at my family's bed and breakfast, Pleasant View Farm. Oh, I didn't realize it was a bed and breakfast. Okay. I'm also ready to roll up my sleeves in the kitchen where I help my mom create recipes for her farm to table restaurant. How many things do you have, girl? You have a party planning business. You have a bed and breakfast. You have a farm. You have a farm restaurant. I, I can't keep track. I can't keep track. This is incredible. Um, no matter what I do, I always try to bring my best to the table. Need a party planner or chicken wrangler? How about a recipe taster or community service barn decorator? I'm your girl. Wow, you, Blair Wilson, are an incredible little lady. I'm impressed. I love this little illustration. It's so cute with a little tablet. Life at Pleasant View Farm. I love this. From chickens to... Oh, from chickens escaping their coop to wedding planning disasters to testing your totally original recipes in our farm to table kitchen, you'll find all the latest news from Pleasant View Farm right here with posts and videos created by me, Blair. Read more on my blog. Oh my god. So there's the girl version of Blair with the goat. Hi, I'm Blair Wilson, Pleasant View Farms resident blogger for all things happening at my family's bed and breakfast, restaurant, and farm. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. She's also a blogger. Read this blog to keep up on all the biggest news at Pleasant View Farm and get inspired by videos featuring some of my favorite recipes and crafts. Crafts. Wow. Crafts. I can't speak today. Crafts. Wow. Welcome to Pleasant View Farm. Nestled in the beautiful Hudson Valley, it's one of is the most beautiful place on earth, Pleasant View Farm. So she's from New York. The farmhouse and land have been in my family for generations. Now my grandpa runs a pet friendly bed and breakfast and my mom is the chef at our farm to table restaurant. Oh my gosh. Farm to table means we grown we grow, that's a typo, many of the ingredients right here on our land. What we can't grow ourselves, we get from other farms in the area. Mom cooks with what's in season, so everything's super fresh and totally delicious. The best thing about Pleasant View Farm is that there's always something new and interesting happening. Visitors come to stick come from all over to stay at our B&B. My mom is always inventing and experimenting with new recipes for the restaurant, and with each season, there are new things to discover in the farm's fields. Pleasant View Farm wasn't always so bustling. When my great-grandparents bought the land, there was just the house and orchard. They turned the surrounding fields into a working farm. Later, my grandparents renovated the rooms on the second floor and opened a B&B. &B. A few years ago, my mom added a professional kitchen and big dining space to the house and opened her own restaurant. Now people from all over the county and the country come to Pleasant View Farm. I want to go to Pleasant View Farm. I love greeting everyone who comes to our serene spot in the heart of Hudson Valley. Oh my god, I want to go. Can I go? New year, new traditions. Mealtime matters. Running a bustling B&B &B and farm-to-table restaurant is exciting, but it also means that my family has to work hard to make time to really connect with each other. My mom's the head chef at the restaurant, so she's super busy during mealtimes. That's why the restaurant is closed every Monday and the Wilsons all sit down for dinner as a family. My mom found an extra bed bread basket from our supply closet, and I created a little sign for it that says, Be Present. At first, we just used the Be Present basket for Monday dinners. But now if mom takes a break from the restaurant to have a snack with me, or if dad makes us lunch, everyone leaves their devices in the basket. How does your family create quality time together that counts? What do you do to be present? Nothing. <laughs> Oh my god, broccoli cheddar soup. 
from drab to fab. It's official. After years of using the old barn for storage, my family decided to renovate the barn into an event space. Before my dad ran the farm's businesses, he was an architect. The barn renovation was his idea, and I've been super excited to help him. I started saving ideas on my inspiration board. That's the gigantic Bolton board on my bedroom wall. And it's been amazing to see them come to life. I have a million more ideas for decorations, and once the space is finished, I can't wait to try them out. So let me get this straight. You're also an interior designer. This is literally the best girl of the year ever. <laughs> um, anyway. But it will be a while before the party barn is ready. There's still a lot of work to be done. If you could host an event in a barn turned from drab to fab, what would it be? What kind of decor would you decorate with and what food would you serve your guests? That is a very excellent question. Um, honestly, I would love to host a gigantic like movie party have like a gigantic movie screen have lots of pillows and cozy blankets and everybody can literally just cuddle up and watch the movie on the big screen and then there would be a big like concession stand in the back where you could get popcorn and candy and drinks and ice cream and literally just make a night out of it like that would be so fun I would love that. Oh, and of course, there'd be like a bathroom in there because um, you need a bathroom if you're going to be watching movies. I mean, you just if you need a bathroom, regardless of where you go, like you just bathrooms are necessities. You just you just need a bathroom. So that would be what I would do with my barn. Oh, and I'd have pizza in my barn, too. <laughs> I'd have pizza. I'd have pizza there. Pizza, popcorn, and movie. Ooh, and milkshakes. Yep, and milkshakes. So it appears that there are only three articles and things here. So there's this article. There's this recipe. There's this article. Okay, so there's three articles and one recipe. But I'm wondering if all throughout the year they are going to write more posts. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on this because I think that that might be something that they do. Um, so that's cool. Step into my world. Read about some of my ventures in and around Pleasant View Farm. So I'm not going to read these, but you guys can read a chapter of each of her books on American Girls Play website right now. You can literally type in this exact... Um, this exact URL, I'll even link it down below, and you guys can look at all this stuff for yourself and read Blair's first chapters of each of her books. Welcome to Pleasant View Farm. Oh, yes, yeah, so we have the 3D um, model of her kitchen, like her restaurant. So, oh, yeah, the kitchen, and then... What's this say? Dining area? Oh, cool. Service window. Okay. So we'll look at the kitchen first. Fresh produce. My mom's restaurant is farm to table, which means we grow many of the ingredients right here on our farm. What we can't grow ourselves, we get from other farms in the area. Cute. Made with love. Mom watches the sunrise through the kitchen window. She starts baking at 5 a.m. and she's in charge until the kitchen closes at 8 p.m. Chefs have long days, but cooking is mom's passion. In parentheses, she says, it's mine too, but I don't have to get up at 5 a.m. Oven. There's more than one set of ovens in the kitchen. That way, mom and her staff can make enough food for everyone in the restaurant. They can bake 80 pieces of salmon at once. Oh, yes, there is a dual oven here. Wow. Sink. This is called a farmhouse sink. It's deeper than typical kitchen sinks, which means it's easier to wash big pots and pans or lots of dishes. In parentheses, it says, luckily, there's a dishwasher in the kitchen, too. Really? Because I don't see one. Here's our dining area. Light string. The courtyard patio is the perfect place for an outdoor meal in the summer. 
At night, guests dine by the glow of the lights under the gazebo while they watch the sunset behind the Shonungunk Ridge Mountains. I probably botched that. I'm so sorry. Menu. Unlike restaurants that serve the same thing all the time, Mom's menu changes. She cooks with what's in season so that everything is super fresh and totally delicious. Cream brulee. My mom has taught me to make some amazing dishes, including creme brulee. It's a creamy custard topped with a hard layer of caramel. We use a kitchen torch to make the topping, in parentheses it says, okay, my mom does that part. When I developed a dairy intolerance, mom and I came up with a dairy-free version of creme brulee. So Blair does have a dairy intolerance, it just makes me so happy, honestly. Bench. I help with all the decorating at Pleasant View Farms. We furnish the outdoor seating space with long tables and benches so that there's plenty of room for people to gather for a meal and linger for conversation. I love this. Okay, there's nothing on this side, but there is this piece, the service window. Bell. When an order is ready, the cook rings the bell to let the server know. When the restaurant is closed, mom rings the bell to tell our family that our dinner is ready. Oh, oh yeah, they do live there. I was about to say, oh, I guess they live there, but duh, they live there. Forgot. Chalkboard. I get to write the day's specials on the chalkboard. Even better, I get to help mom make some of the recipes. Yum. Eggs. All of the eggs that mom uses in the kitchen come from our very own chickens. It's my job to gather the eggs from the nests. It's also my job to clean the kitchen coop. You can guess which job is more fun. <laughs> yes. Cart. We offer tea and treats to our B&B &B guests every afternoon at 4 o'clock. I use this cart to get goodies from the kitchen to the common room. Oh, get the get goodies from the, com from the kitchen to the common room without making a mess. In parentheses, as long as my little brother isn't around to cause trouble. Oh, so Blair has a little brother. Okay, okay. Well, in my case, Blair is going to have a little sister. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. My Blair is getting a little sis. So, if you want to know who that is, go check out my other video. Link is still in the description. So cute. This or that. Are you a totally original party planner or a fun farm-to-table chef? Okay, so it's a quiz. Let's get started. Would you rather bake bread in the kitchen or pick veggies in the garden? Bake bread. Would you rather help renovate a barn or tend to a greenhouse? Renovate a barn. Would you rather help welcome guests at a bed or in breakfast or make delicious treats in the kitchen? Oh my gosh, look at her little Blair doll. It's so cute. Um, welcoming guests is less work, but I'm also a massive introvert. I mean, if I'm just saying welcome, I'd welcome them because it's less work. <laughs> Would you rather be covered in mud in the garden or with flour in the kitchen? Flour. Would you rather help harvest pumpkins from the patch or pick summery tomatoes off the vine? Tomatoes. I'm a creative chef. When you throw on your apron, there's sure to be something delicious coming out of the kitchen soon. Let your creativity shine when you're cooking and baking and you're all... Oh, you let your creativity shine when you're cooking and baking and you're always on the hunt for that totally draw original recipe that's not only a blast, but... Super yummy to eat. I don't know what this means, but okay. I definitely would be more of a decorator, but the quiz says I'm a chef, so I don't know. Planting puzzle. Test your garden knowledge with this matching game. Okay. This is the last thing, it seems. Drag the plants to the right label. Okay. Marigold. Oh, I see. Marigold. Um, basil. Oh, God. Dill looks like this. Lavender is purple. Primrose has got to be the yellow. Which leaves this? 
I don't know. Which leaves this to be the chives. Check my answers. Really? I was wrong? I got chives and dill mixed up. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, so every time you play, it does like reset like their spots. Okay, so this is basil. This is marigold. This is lavender and this is primrose. Chai, that's dill and this is chives. Ding ding, winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well, you guys, it appears that is all for Blair's play page. Okay, if you click the next in the back buttons, it does completely refresh like where you're going. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so excited for Blair. She's here, but I'm still excited for her. I can't wait to have her and create a beautiful story for her. I can't wait. It's so exciting. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!